Hello everyone. In today's video, we will take a chapter in English that is about nouns. Let us see what is there in the chapter and we will try to understand the whole basic rules and we will have some understanding about this topic. Let's start the chapter. It is chapter 2, nouns. Students, you know that nouns are the name in words and it is a part of speech that help us name anything or any person that we see around. So we are using noun for naming anything which is in our surroundings or it could be any object, it could be any place or it could be any person. So we can define noun as noun is a naming word which can name any person, thing, animal, place, quality, state, idea and many other things also. So in a simple definition we have given uh, for noun that is it is a naming word and uh, this naming word can be utilized to name any person, thing, animals, place, quality, state and idea. Let us see now kind of noun. Here we have four kinds of noun. One is your common noun, proper noun, collective noun and abstract noun. Let us see the first one that is your common noun. Common nouns are used to refer general things rather than the specific ones. So we are focusing here on general things. And it is a name shared by every person or you can say the thing of the same class. So it could be your in terms of example if you look it down it will be boy, human, lion, river, mountain, train. So these are the examples for common noun. Now the second noun is your proper noun. So proper noun are considered to be specific and it is unique. So here these words name a particular person or thing. All proper nouns begin with a capital letter. So it is Anushka, Yamuna, Titanic. So they are just a specific towards the object or specific towards the person. So that's why it is a proper noun. Let us go for third noun that is your collective noun. Collective nouns refers to a group and it is a name given to the things of the same kind. So those things which are in a group and the, these things are considered to be same then we are saying that it is a collective noun. Let us see here, your such type of words we are using for collective noun, team, book it, and pack, bunch, swam. So these are the words we are using as uh, for different purpose. They are considered to be called as collective noun. The fourth one is your abstract noun. So here abstract noun refers to ideas, concepts, emotions and other things also where we can find that there is no physical interaction which is taking place so that representation is also given out with the help of abstract noun and that we cannot see uh, we cannot taste we cannot touch we cannot smell or we cannot hear there also we use the different words the dead words are called abstract noun let us see some example your success uh, failure honesty cruelty childhood so these are the different areas we are uh, we are using these words for different uh, sentences and we are calling these uh, words as your abstract noun now after understanding about the small description about the topic nouns let us take uh, what is given as an exercise questions the first one is read the use of collective nouns in the following examples so means we have to read these sentences and try to understand it how the collective noun is used so we are generally using an army or you can say brigade or you can say platoon squared unit of uh, soldiers so when soldiers are coming together or when soldiers are uh, resting together so we say when army unit of soldiers or we say a brigade unit of soldiers a platoon unit of soldiers like that we are using the uh, collective nouns next is uh, an anthropo anthology of poems a collection of poems is an anthology of poems a baby of ladies, a baby of quails, a band of musicians, a band of robbers, 
a brood of hens we can use a bundle of sticks or you can say a bundle of nerves a bucket of or a bunch of flowers we are using it down in this way a choir of singers a clutch of chicks a clutch of eggs so in this way we are using these uh, different words as collective nouns for different purpose let us see some more are there a colony of ants we are using a colony of bats a colony of uh, penguins a colony of termites then uh, a crowd of people a crew of sailors a deck of cards a dray of squirrels a colony of squirrels then a drove of cattle a herd of cattle a fleet of ships a fleet of aeroplanes a fleet of cars a flock of birds a flock of sheep a gang of robbers a herd of sea horses a herd of what deer a heap of rubbish a gaggle of geese a gaggle of women a galaxy of what stars a leap of leopards a library of books a litter of cubs a mob of angry people a muster of peacocks a pride of peacocks a murder a murder of crows a murderer of crows a pack of wolves a panel of experts so in this way we are using the collective nouns now let us see uh, some exercise questions are there here it is circle the noun and tell their kinds so here first one is be sure to pick a top university i find it university is uh, your noun here and it is considered to be your common noun then stack those boxes carefully so i find boxes are your noun and it is also a collective noun greece saw a pack of hyenas in the forest so here i find it greece is also the noun your uh, hyenas are also the noun hyenas if i say hyenas it is very specific to your uh, i will say it is hyenas could be in numbers i cannot be specifying that hyena could be this hyena or that hyena hyena could be in numbers same hyenas are there so i will say hyena is a your common noun and in when i say pack pack is a collective noun okay grish is your proper noun augusta christi wrote many books so uh, augusta christi is your what it is a name of some writer so that is what a proper noun success seems to be come easily to certain people so success is what success is an abstract noun here abstract noun success is what abstract noun is there our team is enjoying the unbroken winning streak so team is about what collection so collect team is what collective noun beauty uh, is the eye of the beholder so beauty is about abstract noun miss miss harshita singh is a famous doctor so harshita singh is a name so i can say it is a proper noun in this way we can find the uh, nouns which are given in the sentence and accordingly i am telling the kinds also now let us go out to the next page here i find it uh, how we are using the verbs and uh, how the verb is getting converted to a uh, noun uh, it is what nominalization so here first i am taking some verbs where i am adding uh, in the suffix m e n t i have to add it down so achieve is achievement excite excitement invest investment punish punishment move movement require requirement now uh, some other verbs where i have to add a t i o n as a suffix admire admiration form formation explain explanation resign resignation examine examination register registration next one add i i t i o n we have to add it down add addition define definition repeat repetition oppose opposition similarly other words uh, verbs are there where i have to add suffix i u r e fail failure press pressure please pleasure pleaser depart departure so i am adding what u r e at the end of these verbs then i can see here some other verbs like dependence depend depend dependence and then excel excellence reside residence exist existence so we are i am adding here e n c at the suffix after these verbs here some other verbs are also given out where i am adding a n c accept acceptance 
enter entrance guide guidance perform performance and attend attendance anc at the last resist resistance anc at the last you can just see that how i'm adding suffix in the as a, in by adding uh, at the last of those verbs similarly here act action ion i am adding digest digestion ion revise revision vacate vacation express expression subtract subtraction similarly uh, for this verb apply i am adding c a t i o n application i have to remove this word uh, i have to remove this uh, word y and then i am adding what uh, application i c a t i o n tick justify justification qualify qualification clarify clarification i then i am adding and c t a i o n i am adding as a suffix then h i am adding as a suffix in these words marry marriage waste wastage pack package carry carriage and uh, here these verbs are there i am adding al bury burial i a l refuse refusal i am adding al at the last try trial i a a l i am adding it down propose proposal i am adding it down here so in this way i can uh, use the different verbs and how i am converting into uh, its noun form by adding different suffix okay now let us see here uh, again one exercise question is there so in this exercise question i have to match the verbs and noun so choose choose means what choice choose is connected to choice then employ employ will be employment ignore ignore will be your uh, ignorance omit omit will be omission do do will be deed advice advice will be advice and sell will be sale compare comparison grow growth flatter flattery so in this way the verb are connected to the noun form by adding some type of suffix are you getting my point now let us uh, take some adjectives and how the adjectives are also connect converted into noun forms let us see with the help of this table so here uh, here let's see here adjectives i am writing here bitter so it is what by adding this suffix nes is bitterness busy business and then happy happiness i am we have to remove this y and add i first then nes is happy happiness i nes is lonely loneliness i nes is wicked wickedness then uh, let's see here this adjective so adjective here i have added then enc i have added here so absent absence ent ENTT I have to remove and I have to add ENC means you can say ENT I have to remove and I am adding ENC silent ENT I will remove I will add ENC silence excellent excellence patient patience I have removed ENT and then I have added ENC similarly here uh, certain certainty I am doing what I am removing I am adding what TY directly cruel C R U E C R U E L T Y I am adding duality royal royalty loyal loyalty so these are all what adjectives so adjectives in hindi we are calling as in uh, vishishan okay these are the characteristics of some i am very cruel person i am a very loyal person you are a very cruel person you are not good you do not good do good for the animals you are very cruel to animals yes so no he doesn't give any food to animals that's why you are a cruel person that's why you are a cruel person so in this way you are using these adjectives so cruelty is there so you are showing which characteristics cruelty towards animals cruelty towards dog okay now let us see some other adjectives here active active i will be adding activity real ka reality superior ka superiority S U P E R I O R S U P E R I O R I T Y superiority popular ka popularity okay human means humanity so like next this other adjective is brilliant ka brilliance B R I L L I N T so I N T means I A N T T I am removing and I am adding A N C brilliance ignorant ignorance important importance evident evidence 
so i can find here this how these adjectives are uh, there and how it's converted to noun form by adding these suffix similarly other are accurate accuracy efficient efficiency private privacy decent decency so i am adding cy as suffix then uh, on these adjectives and i getting it down into conversion as noun okay now let us see uh, one uh, fill in the blanks is there make a noun from the words given in the bracket and fill the blanks let's see here uh, first one our only mission should be should be to spread dash along the all around so happy word is given so i have to convert into noun form so i will see that it will be happiness so what thing i am spreading all around what should i spread i should spread happiness in all around so that world should be very happy we will get peace and calm we should be very happy means happiness is very very important in life without happiness we cannot do anything so okay uh, eating without eating food without happiness is not good for us is not good for our mental health also are you getting my point so happiness is the correct way observe dash when nothing works what happens you have to be patient when you are doing a lot of hard work but you know you are not getting the result so you should be patient you should be having patience okay so the patient will be patience are you getting the point next one we should act dash in our conscience we should act in obediently with our conscience you can win the hearts of even your enemies with your kindness kind converted to kindness dash is the best policy what honesty is the best policy we should treat people with dash even when we are successful we should uh, treat people with politely okay the polite is getting converted to politely then good moral behavior or pious piously should characterize our behavior pious is piously then you we take dash proud in our country we take proud uh, proudness in our country then the dash of india is working hard the government is working hard for the empower that is empowerment of women by providing them financial free means freedom please give me the detailed informis information about your projects what is the use of dash with your parents that is argument what is the use of argument the dash of the army officers filled us with the feeling of dash so bravery of the army officer filled us with the feeling of patriotism that is patriot is patriotism okay the dash beautiful of kashmir is the beautifulness of kashmir beautifulness we will say beauty fullness of kashmir is mesmerizing i don't need any dash means clarification i don't need any clarification for clarify your dash will help in you in emergencies calm is calmness your calmness will help you in emergencies okay come to the next page now uh, let us see here how the nouns can can be countable how the nouns could be uncountable also and now how the nouns can be singular or plural so formation of plurals means how the nouns are getting converted to plurals by adding some specific type of suffix so first most nouns are made plural by adding what s if you are adding add s to the word we say that the noun is getting converted from singular to plural so star stars lemon lemons plant plants flower flowers s i am added here okay next one the noun ending in s double s sh ch or x are made plural by adding es for example bus buses class classes dish dishes bench benches fox foxes so how i have added here es in all these words where i find that these words are ending with x this word is ending with ch this word is ending with uh, sh this word is ending with s this word is ending with double s so how i have added es and i have converted these noun from singular to plural next third most noun ending in, in consonant plus o are made plural by adding es like hero hero is ending with o and before o it is r r is consonant 
so such type of noun if i have to then i have to add es it will be hero to heroes potato o and before o it is what t that is consonant so i have to add es potatoes similarly negroes o and before o it is r that is consonant so negro is converted to negroes es i have to add there are some exceptions also with this rule like for dynamo it is not working dynamo it is o before o it is your constant m but i am not adding es here i have just added s so it is not dynamos es i am not added i have added only s it is dynamos similarly for o ending with o photo is ending with o before o it is t that is consonant but now i am not adding es here i am just adding s so pet photo photos pianos these are some exception for this rule okay these are the words which are undergo exception category have you understood now fourth one noun ending with in vowel plus o are made plural by adding simply s so there are some words also where nouns are there where it is ending with o and before o it is your vowel word okay so it is there radio so i am have to add what s radios stereo o before o it is e that is cons uh, vowel so it's stereo i have to add what s stereos cuckoos o before o it is o so it is a uh, vowel plus o i have to add s cuckoos cuckoo to cuckoos noun ending in consonant plus y are made plural by changing y into ies like army a r m y army it is ending with y it is ending with y then before y it is consonant y before that it is consonant m is consonant then i have to add what i will remove y i will remove y and i will add ies so army converted to armies baby baby y is there y before y it is consonant b then uh, i have to remove y and i will add ies babies baby to babies city to cities story to stories lady to ladies are you getting the point how this thing is happening are you getting the point come to the next one noun ending in vowel plus y are made plural by adding s now any noun like boy boy is having y at the last before y it is your vowel so i have to remove y first then i will add no uh, i have to uh, i have to add just s in such type of words so it will be boys to boys toys to toy to toys valley to valleys stories to stories okay noun ending in f or fe are made plural by ha by adding such type of words like your half f is there okay so it is just converted to halves v s h a l v s half singular plural is halves leaf f is there so leaf is converted to leaves knife n i f e knife f e f e is there so f e i have to remove and i will say n i v e s knives wife wife e i will remove f e i will remove and it will be wives so these are the examples but here also some ex exceptions are there like here chief c h i e f chief is there but in chief it is e e f is there at the last but i am not uh, doing in this way i am just writing s at the last it is chiefs dwarfs proofs proofs here this uh, this are the exception cases for this rule okay come to the next one that is your some noun needs a vowel change and other minor changes to form their plurals for example children lice feet teeth geese or men so here these are the uh, we will say vowel uh, noun need a vowel change here some what happens some vowel change happens some vowel change happen and minor changes happens to make it like men is man man m a n man to men m a n goose to geese tooth teeth foot feet are you getting my point how this vowel and, and minor changes are coming out and how this changes lies to lose uh, what lies is there and and uh, we will say lose l o u s e lose and uh, come to the next one in compound nouns usually the chief word is made plural for example ball pens grown grown ups 
passes by close ups so in this way compound nouns are usually in the chief words next in noun plus preposition plus noun sort of words the first element is made plural for example brothers in law so i say brothers in law commanders in chief commanders in chief fathers in law the first word used to be changed into plural when we are doing in this way okay now uh, read some words and their plural forms like 1990 1990s s ba bas cm cms radius radii cactus cacti criterion criteria phenomenon phenomena man servant men servant loose l o u s e loose lice bacterium bacteria fungus fungi syllabus syllabi and uh, formula formulae stadium stadiums are you getting my point now uh, let us see here things to remember abstract nouns like courage knowledge curiosity are used as singular always your friendship is my greatest asset childhood is the golden period of a man's life okay next one common noun naming materials like bread gold cheese wood wool are also used as singular okay these were also used as singular only it is not converted into plural form for example let us see wood is used to make furniture wood is used to make furniture the furniture is the in their house is antique gold is a costly uh, metal okay third one the some nouns used as singular are mathematics physics mums athletics news innings wages so we are s is there s is there mums so whenever we are using adding some s word at the word of the mathematic s it means it should be a plural word but it is not plural it is singular only new news s is there at the last but whether it is plural no it is singular innings s is there whether it is a plural no it is singular these are the words where s is there but it is a singular word okay singular noun now economics economics is an interesting subject so economics the this news is it not true to so, is yes, what it is it is a singular form of noun okay next one some nouns are used as plural are shoes and socks and jeans trousers scissors but here also let's see here s is there so these words are considered to be plural spectacles binoculars are you getting the point my spectacles are trendy yet affordable this is a spectacles my spectacles you are using single spectacles in your face or whether you are using too many number of spectacles no it is one spectacle only even then also it is single means it should be single singular but it is a it is a plural form of noun and we are using in this way only okay your shoes are dirty a pair of shoes you are having it down in your foot so shoes i am adding whether you are uh, taking too many number of shoes no na four number of shoes you are using it no at a time no not possible so but here also you are adding s so it's a plural and it is using in a same way only let us see here the last exercise for the chapter now so some conversation is happening between two friends in a science topic suresh is saying what are nutrients ravi nutrients are dash component of food so components it will be what components components of food suresh can you give me some examples ravi yes the examples of nutrients are carbohydrates so it is carbohydrates it is carbohydrates proteins vitamins minerals can you name green pigment found in leaf it will be leaves are you getting my point yes the green pigment is called chlorophyll what are dash what are lice hosts or parasites they are parasites now it's my turn to ask tell me the chemical formula of sodium chloride sorry i am get to learn formulae no it is many formulas so it is formulae l a e y l a e formula to formulae are you getting the point so in this way uh, uh, we come across at the end of the chapter that is your uh, from english grammar uh, and uh, it is about a topic called noun hope you have all understood about this topic if you go on 
revising this topic little number of times definitely it will be there in your mind and you can analyze the things very easily thank you